I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. And I also want to welcome you to Late Night with Yaya Diamond on the DuPont Network, where we're reaching over 4 million people in Atlanta, Georgia. I am so very excited to be here today. We have a comedian on the show today. He is funny. Okay. Had me laughing already. I was already laughing. See? See? He's already laughing. I mean, I'm. Okay, I don't even know how I'm going to get through this. I don't even know how I'm going to get through this. <laughs> I want to welcome Jareem to the show. Thank you so much for joining me. I am just so excited to have you here. Yes. Hello. Hello. How you doing, everybody out there uh, listening in? How you doing? Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. So, Jareem, let me ask you a question. You know, everybody has a beginning. What was yours like? Oh, wow. Uh, so, I always wanted to do stand-up. And so, uh, back in... 2005 here in the state of Delaware, they had a, uh, they had a, you know, talent show, uh, you know, anyone can sign up regardless of what type of talent you had. And so uh, a good friend of mine dared me to sign up to do comedy. And I'm the type of guy who never wants to go through life to say I would have, could have, should have. I back then my stage name was fat back. <laughs> and, uh, and so back then, you know, I was, I was, I was, you know, I was drinker back then. So, uh, I had some Tangerade, you know, they don't even do Tangerade no more. I had some Tangerade and orange juice. I signed up and I won the whole competition and I got to open up for Chingy back in the day. That, that tell you how oh, far back that is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You had, oh my gosh. Yeah, some, man. Some Tangerade, that's like Kool-Aid mixed in with a little bit of something, something. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> but yeah, man. Oh, man. Did like five minutes and, uh, and uh, won the whole competition. It was, and I was hooked ever since. And a couple years later, I uh, gave my life to Christ. Named the dream. J-R-E-A-M stands for Jesus rules everything around. Mm, mm, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I knew it had to, you know, I knew it had to mean something. Because, I mean, you know, comedians, they got it all on. Now, let me, you know, there is just so many different things. People, I think they, they don't, I think that, they believe that your life is extraordinary and that because you're a comedian, everything is funny. But do you bring plight or light to the situations of a common, like, you know, day that may happen to bring light to the funny part of it all? Absolutely. Ab absolutely. Every day is definitely not peaches and creams just because uh, we make other people laugh. Uh, to be honest with you, I think I read somewhere uh, statistic wise. Uh, comedians suffer with uh, depression more so than 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 most people. Uh, they take they use the stage for therapy in and of itself. And so, yeah, we take everyday thing, every everyday life, everyday pain, and we take that and we you know twist it and turn it to make it funny. That's why even the Bible says laughter is good like a medicine because uh, you know we're able to feel prescriptions each and every day we hit that stage. I tell you what. I'll tell you what, and you know, and, and it's so, it's, it's, you know, it's so prevalent. It's like, you think that a comedian would be happy, but behind the scenes, you're right. Um, they do suffer from a lot more depression and a lot more because their life in front of people was so funny that they think everybody thinks that you have a funny life behind the scenes. You're always laughing and always giggling and always making jokes, but that's not the case. I mean, no, no, that's not, that's not the case. Like everyone else. Absolutely. Real life happens to comedians, too. Absolutely yeah. does. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love it, though, that, you know, if, if I can make fun of myself, it's a great day. Absolutely right. It's absolutely right. Day. I try to find some type of humor in something each and every day. Um, I keep a I've been doing comedy now for like 18 years, but yet and still I still keep my phone or uh, journal something I can write in because I see there's I see comedy every day in something on my job while I'm driving. Um, you know, I see comedy, you know, I, I rode by the gym just today because one of my resolutions was I wanted to go, you know, get back in shape. And I rode by the gym, just fell out laughing. Cause I said, you know, I ride, I literally do go by the gym five days a week. <laughs> but I just don't go in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those new year's resolutions, they get me bored. Be like, yeah, man. And by come February, it's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You do it not one time. And if you did like a whole week, it's like, oh, my body hurts. You know? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But man, oh, man. I, I tell you, but, hey, it's got to get done. It's got to get done. Definitely, definitely. And I hear that you've opened up your own comedy club. Tell me about this. How did this come about? Come on now. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I tell you, God is awesome. Uh, so 
a little over De well, December 29th was the grand opening. Prior to that, uh, I teamed up with a wonderful lady. Shout out to Mama G, uh, Tropical Delight restaurant here in Dover, Delaware. And I was putting on comedy shows at different venues, and she would always uh, cater the food for those comedy shows. And uh, she, you know, she has her own banquet hall adjacent to her restaurant. And so we just teamed up. We made such a great team uh, doing comedy shows and her providing the food. So she said, you know what? Hey, let's let's take this thing to another level. So she gave me one of the greatest opportunities that I could ever uh, pray for and thank for. And she opened up her banquet hall to me and said, hey, it's yours. Take it over. Mm. I love when that happens. <laughs> I love when that happens. You know, people don't realize that you cannot do anything by yourself. Like absolutely you not need other people. You just oh, I'm gonna just do this by my no, you can't just do this by yourself. That's right. Can't yeah. do it. You can't do it. You cannot do it. There's a reason why the Lord, and I ain't getting up here to preach because God knows, but there's a reason why the Lord sent the disciples out by twos because he knew uh they, you know, when one fall, the other one gonna pick the other one up. You cannot get through this life without the help of someone. Everybody's gonna need a brother or sister here and there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot. And I have learned that in, in so many different ways and so many different situations, you know. And you do have a tour and shows and coming up and all this other good stuff. You have your website. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up on the uh, screen really quick so people can actually go there. It's dreamlandentertainment.com. Yes. yes. Oh yes. my gosh. So, I mean, yes. with everything that's going on and being a comedian, I am not funny at all i'm silly there's a difference <laughs> there is a difference being silly and being a comedian you can't be getting up there being silly you gotta be a comedian so if you are silly don't try it you're gonna get booed off the stage and people gonna throw stuff at you yeah because okay. usually when you're silly uh most most people who are silly really don't have content and when you're going to do uh whenever you're going to do stand-up you definitely should have content. You should have subject matters. You should have things that are relatable, current events, uh, things that uh, people can really relate to and can tap into. But, you know, just being silly, getting up there and, you know, acting like a clown, that's exactly what it would be. You know, you'll just be a clown. But uh, but silly has its place here and there. But at the end of the day, you got to have some content. You got to have some substance when you're on that stage. Oh, definitely. I can introduce you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what's up, guys? We got Drake coming up. Ah, bye. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That's, You're a book. That's... You're a book. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, it's been such a pleasure having you on the show. And you know what? It's Thank just, you. It's wonderful to see that you've teamed up and you're collaborating with food and comedy because that goes hand yes. in hand. And you oh, do yes. have a lot of different comedians coming through as well, right? It's clean oh, comedy. Yes. Is it family friendly? Absolutely. So just uh, April 27th, we have, again, the national national comedian, Mr. Gerald Kelly and his sons. He has a 16-year-old son and a 10-year-old son. They're on tour with him right now as we speak, and they will be here in Dover, Delaware, April 27th. And that is the one and only time you can go. It's a rare time where you can go to a comedy show and bring your kid or your, you know, your young one, 10 years older and up. You can bring them to the comedy show and we can and we'll rock out. So that's very rare. That is wonderful, though, because you yes. want to have you want to bring your children, you know, you want them to have fun, too. Exactly then, right. Know, exactly having, right. Having a night out with your children, comedy club, you know, just don't sit on the front row. <laughs> yeah, and I can't let them get to the row. bar, and, and they can't get to the bar either, because you know we got we got to be careful with that too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You gotta have food, okay? Yeah, gotta have food though. Gotta, gotta have, have food. food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, Jareen, for being on the show. I appreciate it. And you know, wow. any time that you have anything else that you want to say or introduce, or you have you going on tour or whatever, please, please, yes. please stop by. And guys, it's www.dreamlandentertainment.com, and that yes. way you guys can find out what's going on and all about what Mr. Dream is doing on you yes. know on tour and also at his <laughs> yes. own establishment. <laughs> I am. I'm, That's I'm what I'm talking about. about. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And don't forget to dare to be different. Until next time, guys. Bye. Peace.